Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now we've recently been selling some new types of climbing shoes and carrying some brands that we've never used before, which means I get to try out some tasty new models. Here are three of my favourite. Now the three shoes I've picked today are definitely towards the high-end, aggressive side of the market. So think overhanging boulder and sport problems. Now for a long time we have had an Evolve style hole missing in our climbing shoe range, but that has now been rectified. We now carry three Evolve models and the most high-end is the Shaman. The new Shaman is at the center of the Chris Sharma signature series. So needless to say, this is the shoe you go for for some legendary performance. Let's go through the features. So this new model of Shaman has been tweaked a little to ensure a better fit. The heel now provides a better suction when you put it on and sticks nicely. There's this little window of space in the end here that allows your toes to spread when putting pressure through them, allowing you to put more power down into the toe box. The rubber is uh, Evolve's Trax rubber, which is fantastic for edging and nice and stiff, but the whole shoe remains a kind of quite soft because of the lack of rubber in this midsole section. So as you can see, nice and soft and great for overhang. There's a three-way uh, sort of attachment Velcro system here and a nice big padded tongue, so it's going to be really comfortable. Interestingly, Evolve recommend that you go half a size down on the previous model of Shaman to uh, continue a sort of precise and really small fit. That means it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, you kinda wanna suffer a little bit for that precision and power that you're gonna get because of that. Extended rubber over the front, which seems to be the norm now for most high-end bouldering shoes for toe hooks. And the whole shoe just looks really cool. I love the blue, I love the orange, and it's Chris Sharma's, so you know it's gonna be good. Okay, next shoe is by Red Chili, a totally new brand for us. The company was started 20 years ago by pro climber Stefan Glovach, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, with the motto, climbers know what climbers need. It's hard to argue with that. We're gonna to look today at the Voltage, a seriously aggressive shoe for bouldering and sport climbing, and it's in Red Chili's high-end bouldering category, and you can see why. Red Chili have designed a completely new last for this shoe. So there's a neutral shape, but as you can see, it's radically downturned. There's an RC tension midsole, which honestly, I've got no idea what that really means. Couldn't find out any information on it, but what it does do is provide tension throughout the entire sole of the shoe so you can be more precise. Excess grip rubber, and as you can see, there's rubber pretty much over the entirety of the shoe. So a big toe section here, and it comes up quite high uh, on the midsole section of the shoe, so you can have nice sticky grip however you want to use your shoes. There's a synthetic upper, which means that it won't stretch very much, or well, that's what Red Chili say anyway, which is interesting because when I've used Red Chili shoes in the past, I found they're super comfortable, but they do tend to stretch and that sort of aggressiveness is lost quite quickly. So I can't wait to uh, see if the Voltage sort of steps up its game in terms of aggression and long lasting durability. So finally, a brand that we love here at Epic TV, So Ill. So So Ill have always had an eye for fashion and design, and this free range continues their sort of stylish motto. Now before, Soil shoes appealed to mainly indoor climbers or people looking for a softer shoe. What was missing from their range was a downturned, aggressive shoe with good edging ability. And this is where the free range comes in. Soil used their own dark matter rubber, which I kind of like, it's got this really cool, really simple logo on it. Now for me, this feels a lot stiffer and more solid than the rubber they used on their other models of shoe. So perhaps this is gonna be a far better edging model. There's also rubber on the toe section, as with all the other shoes. And again, this is great for toe hooking, especially on indoor climbs. The closure system is interesting. It's got one strap, but two sections where you can strap it up to. So if you've got narrow feet, it might be better to use the lower one to pull that in. Whereas if you've got sort of squarer, wider toes, it might be better to secure it on the back, giving your feet a little bit of room to spread out. So this can also be used for different types of climbing situations. So for example, if you've got like a long traverse with lots of heel hooks, I'd strap it up at the back so to really sort of secure your heel in. But if you've got a climb with very, very tiny edges, 
perhaps put it at the front, which will narrow it all together uh, and allow you to put loads of power into that toe box area. So you can really adjust this shoe to suit the climb and the foot type that you have and the climb you're on. And we can't ignore the styling of the shoe. So we'll often take inspiration from vintage running shoes and you can really see that in this model of shoe. Before we finish, let's have a quick chat with pro climber Jason Kell who owns and climbs in these shoes. Hi, I'm Jason Kale, professional climber and hold shaper and athlete for So Ill. I'm also a gym designer and I live in El Paso, Texas, near Waco Tanks. I just started using the free range, I guess, this spring. Definitely attracted to it because it's a more of an aggressive shoe and uh, I use my whole foot when I climb, especially in Waco because it's very 3D. So I really like that the toe hook is awesome and you know you can use your whole foot while you're climbing. Definitely my, my hard climbing shoe of choice. Probably use the streets for warming up just because they're you know easier and then this is more aggressive so I use these indoors for anything difficult and outdoors for anything difficult. I think the dark matter rubber is awesome. Um, it's very similar to a lot of the other brands out there. Um, super sticky. Clean, simple, um, find it works great for like even the rubber around the shoe, like the toe hooking rubber, it works great, uh, better than any of the other shoes that I've worn in the past. So there you go, three high-end, super aggressive shoes for your hardest projects. And one thing that all of those shoes have in common is they're very precise and excellent for those small little edges. So if your project features them, grab some of these shoes. So we launched a competition last week where I asked you guys to tell me your packing nightmare to win one of these interesting looking chalk bags. So the winner of our comp was Luke Reader with this story about a haul bag nightmare where he shredded everything and it was a bit of a problem. Cheers Luke, thank you very much and thank you to everyone who commented uh, on that story last week. We do read them all, we do enjoy them all, so keep on doing it. And on that theme, if you guys have any opinions about the shoes that I've talked about today, have you used them? Are they any good? Are they rubbish? Do they not work at certain things? Let me know by commenting below. That's all we've got time for this week. Thank you so much for watching Climbing Daily, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>